Minecraft is such a large game with so many mobs. I think it's actually one of its greatest strengths. They span the gamut from normal villagers to explosive creepers to powerful bosses. It's very well possible though to overlook some of the mobs that may initially seem less interesting. Enter the Witch. The Witch is a hostile mob and one of the rarer standard enemies as I like to call them. These are the mobs that spawn in the overworld but require no other special conditions to spawn. Nether mobs and mobs like the slime and stray and husk require special conditions like biomes or, or, or different dimensions. The Witch is an interesting mob among them though because it's clearly not undead. We know this because it doesn't take extra damage from smite and no other standard enemy is quite like the Witch. Although witches don't have any spawn condition except low light, they are able to spawn in an additional place called a witch hut which generates in swamps. They give us a small insight into a witch's life as it contains equipment like a cauldron and crafting table. It's not really that interesting but it offers us a clue to the witches. They have a home base, they're not wandering around hopelessly, rather they have a home. Witches are not hostile to villagers or iron golems, but iron golems will attack witches, and the witches will not attack back, preferring to die instead. This implies an asymmetrical relationship between witches and villagers. Witches mean no harm, but villagers see them as a threat. Witches seem like outcasts that the villagers kicked out of the village. This may be the same with illagers, but illagers have a different mindset. They're trying to explore magic and enter the end. It doesn't seem like they want to live in the villages. While the witch doesn't seem to hold a grudge against the villagers and wants to be accepted. But why were witches outcasted? The most obvious answer is witchcraft. Before we jump to conclusions though, what is witchcraft? We may originally think it's manufacturing potions, but what makes this complicated though is that there's already a villager profession that on the surface is extremely similar to a witch, the cleric. Clerics also deal with magic and are the only profession that deals with magic. That is made clear by the brewing sand in their houses and their trades. They want items like glass bottles, nether wards, and rabbit's feet. This is what I think happened. So we know that the villagers have a problem and that problem is zombies. They have an iron golem to protect against the zombies, but that doesn't change the fact that they're biologically weak to zombies. So let me paint a picture. The cleric of the village made an igloo a little bit far away from the village to experiment on a cure. And we can infer that the igloo is the cleric's because the furnace is clearly a decoy. If it's used then the ice block would melt and if anyone was ever using the furnace they would notice this, this design flaw very very quickly. And downstairs in the chest there is coal and there are also other items that you can sell to a cleric. The cleric took every possible precaution and made the lab in underground to lessen the chance of a zombie escape. Eventually though, they found a cure and went to the village to share their findings. They revealed everything, but instead of being excited, the villagers were shocked and unsettled. They saw a caged villager and a zombie. Why is the cleric holding the villager hostage? Why wouldn't they release the cured villager? The villagers assumed she caged another one and made him turn into a zombie. The villagers thought that the cleric was trying to spread the zombie disease instead of curing it. Why was the cleric being so secretive even? So the villagers headed back to civilization and informed the rest of the village. The cleric became a witch and an outlaw. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Lore. I know I wasn't able to release 6 episodes in a month like I promised, but that was more of a limit test. I wanted to see how many videos I could upload in a month, and it turned out it's about 1 a week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I'll be making more of Minecraft Lore videos for the rest of this month. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.